Okay, so uh, now we're looking at page 20. Okay, on page 20 we are told, let me just check something. Yeah, so in, t um, in number 20 we are told that A, B, C, D is a rhombus. So for this to be a rhombus, we know many things, okay, that opposite angles are equal. Um, the angles bisect the vertex angle, so those angles are equal, so that's also a Y. Opposite sides of all the properties of parallelogram is evident there. Okay, and we also know that all sides are equal in a in a rhombus. We also know that the angles are perpendicular to each other. Okay, but it's not applicable here because this is not the second diagonal BD. Okay, so we are told it's a rhombus with angle B being fifty. Calculate with reason the size of the unknown angles indicated by letters X and Y. Okay, so firstly, A1 is going to be X. Why? Because of these lengths are equal. Then I can go sum of triangles to calculate X. Okay. Then these lines are parallel. So that angle and that angle will be equal. Okay, because are alternate angles. Or we could have just said X is equal to Y as well, once we got this angle here. The reason for that is going to be the diagonal bisects the vertex angle. There are, okay? There are three shapes, I think, that is evident. Okay? To it, it bisects both vertex angles, which is a, a square and a rhombus. And in the kite, one diagonal bisects the vertex angle. Okay? It's not, not both being uh, bisected by the diagonal. Okay? So, firstly, we're going to say that AB is equal to BC. Why? Or you can say all sides are equal if needed, okay? But that's all we need for now. Why? Because all sides equal in rhombus. Okay, you don't have to say or list all the sides, okay? That is suffice for saying that. So we are the, the rule we're using there is um, all sides are equal. Right, so which now implies that angle A1 will be X. So A1 is equal to XY. Why is A1 X? Because why is angles opposite equal sides. Yeah, angles opposite equal sides. So we have 2X plus 50. X plus X plus 50, which is 2X plus 50, equals 180. Why? Sum of triangles. Okay, and it's triangle ABC. Alright? So 2X is then equal to 130 degrees. So X is going to be 65 degrees. Okay? So X is 65. So there's 65, here's 65. As we said, we can go with alternate angles there. Or we can say Y65 because um, the angle AC bisect angle A. Okay, I'm going to go with that there. So Y65 degrees. Why? Because the angle bisect the vertex angle in a rhombus. Okay, we can't just say that your diagonal bisects the, 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 the vertex angle without stating it's a rhombus. Because not in every quadrilateral is the, the um, diagonal bisecting the vertex angle. Okay? So we must say which, which um, quadrilateral property we're using there. Okay? So let's look at number T. We are told that TQR is a parallelogram. So T, Q, R, S. So if this is a parallelogram, all pro, uh, parallelogram properties are evident here. Like opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, opposite angles are equal, and diagonals bisect each other. Okay? Then we are told that uh, P, T, S is a straight line. Okay? And then P, T is equal to P, T, Q, which is equal to R, S. Okay? But as we indicated, that's already equal because it's a parallelogram. There. Calculate with reason the size of the unknown angle indicated by the letter x. So if all the sides are equal, 
then this is a equilateral an equilateral triangle which is making angle x 60 or x 60 which is angle p okay so um, we first need to 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 indicate that tq is equal to sr okay why it is because opposite uh, sides equal in a parallelogram okay so it's resulting in all the sides are equal so we say since we state the obvious pt is equal to tq which is equal to pq okay so therefore ptq is an equilateral the little triangle Okay, it's an equilateral triangle. So, why? Because they're all sides equal. Okay. So, um, angle P is equal to X, which is equal to 60 degrees. Why? Because um, all angles equal in an equilateral triangle. Okay. Okay.